Could all be seated, please? Forging ahead here. The consent agenda. President Gisha. Thank you, Your Honor. Um, I make a motion to accept and file all the reports of officers, pass all resolutions, and accept and adopt all reports of committees. Second. Okay, a uh, motion and a second. Uh, if I may, uh, that will be 16-1 uh, through 16-12. If 16-9, uh, if we can make a note, 16-9 will be referred uh, back to Public Works. So if everybody can make a note of that, so we're talking 16-1 uh, through 16-12, uh, with the exception of 16-9, which will go back to Public Works. We have a motion and a second on the consent agenda. Under discussion? Roll call, please. Warren? Aye. Powell? Aye. Powers? Aye. Aye. Decker? Aye. Aye. Motion carries. Communications and petitions, 16-13 to be referred. Reports of officers 2, 1614 through 1625 to be referred. Resolutions introduced 3, 16 26 through 1631 to be referred. Reports of Committee 6, 16-32 by law and licensing, recommending denying beverage operator's license number 8420 based on her failure to include all relevant convictions on her bever beverage operator's license application and her record of violations related to the licensed activity. Alderman Boren. Thank you, Mayor Ryan. I move that the report of committee be accepted and adopted. Second. We have a motion <clears throat> and a second. Please continue. Under discussion, uh, Mayor, is Lindy o uh, Lindsay Osuch here tonight? She's not here, Mayor. Very good. Uh, Ms. Osuch did appear before our committee on November 10th, and uh, because of her violations, uh, she's actually ineligible for the license until 2017. So therefore, in advice of the... Uh, Assistant City Attorney, we, uh, we move to deny the license application. Thank you, Alderman Boren. Any further discussion? Roll call, please. Bauk? Aye. Bowers? Aye. Decker? Aye. Gisha? Aye. Hannah? Aye. Heidemann? Aye. Koth? Aye. Kittleson? Aye. Aye. Montemayor? Aye. Rinfleisch? Aye. Zurich? Aye. Vanderweel? Aye. Vu? Aye. Wangaman? Aye. And Boren? Aye. 16 ayes. Motion carries. 16-33 by the Marina and Harbor Committee recommending filing document a communication from the Boys and Girls Club requesting permission to host the Gus Macker 3-on-3 basketball tournament at d -Lynn Park and denying the request. Alderman Sirk. Uh, thank you, Mayor. Um, I move that reported committee to be accepted and adopted. Second. We have a motion to accept and adopt. Under discussion, Alderman Sir. Okay, thank you, Mayor. Uh, just given the, pos the position of the, uh, of the Marina Committee, the Marina Committee is not opposed to the Gus Macker Tournament. And uh, in our discussions, the concern they have is that, you know, it could be held at Deal in Park, it's fine, any place else, but the concern is having the, a portion of the Marina parking lot used as part of the tournament. And we have people that are spending, you know, a good $3,000 a year to have a slip. We have had complaints that people don't come to the Marina during the Gus Macker Tournament to enjoy their Sheboygan and, and, and their boats. We've had people that transient boaters avoid coming to our harbor during that period of time because of uh, the congestion. There's been reports of noise, loud music, reports of, we may have any vandalism reports, but we have had reports of people sitting on other people's cars, you know, that, that are uh, visiting or, or having their boats in, in the marina. So the position of the marina is that we, we love the tournament, but we prefer not to have a portion of it in the marina parking lot. Thank you. Thank you, Alderman Sirk. Next we have Alderman Bout. Thank you, Mr. Mayor. I would, uh, would have originally moved to file this document if I had gotten, if my trigger finger were faster than Alderman Sirk. I couldn't disagree with him more. 
Uh, I think it's a misguided uh, uh, report of committee uh, that seeks to, to overstep uh, what it really needs to do. I would urge all of my colleagues to vote no on this so we can go ahead and, uh, and vote it down, uh, vote yes on filing, move to file it. Uh, and specifically, here's why. I, I live within a couple of blocks of the Gus Macker tour and have for five years. Uh, and, and as uh, uh, the speaker earlier tonight said, it's, it's a great weekend. Is it a little crowded? Is it a little cozy? cozy? Sure. But the families that walk past my house, it's a great summer day. I'm always out in my yard working. The families that come by with the bounce in their basketball and the kid in, kids in their jerseys ready to play, it's a great weekend. And, and as far as the marina people, um, that's a public parking lot. Uh, and the sense I get, the sense I get is that they think it's their own little pine hills and they don't want to put up with uh, a little bit of extra cozy traffic that weekend. It's not, it's a public. If, if they want that kind of privacy, go down and join the Yacht Club. This is a public place, and this event on the lake shore is very, very uh, important to our city for all the reasons uh, the speaker earlier tonight talked about. Thank you, Mr. Mayor. Thank you, Alderman Bauck. Next, we have Alderman Bowers. Thank you, Mayor Ryan. Uh, I, I vote uh, uh, yes on this uh, by the Marina and Harbor Board. Two years in a row now, this committee has voted 7-0. Now, I'm not a member of either one of these committees, but last year, if I recall, Alderman Gisha, Alderman Ryan, now Mayor Ryan, voted to not have this uh, tournament down at the harbor. This year, the vote was the same, 7-0, without those two gentlemen. The two new uh, members of the uh, council voted 7-0. Now, I'd like to add this. The United States Sailing Association is going to be coming to Sheboygan, and we've been selected as the Midwest, if not the worldwide center, for these new boats, U-8s. We will be training people every weekend during the summer. They'll be coming maybe worldwide. I know they'll be coming nationwide. And it'll be, that's why the uh, Harbor Marina Committee actually voted not to have it there. So therefore, since this Harbor Marina Committee has done this two years in a row without a single day vote, I would recommend to the lay members of this committee, since the city does not appreciate your work, that I would resign from this committee. Thank you. Thank you, Alderman Bowers. Uh, if I may comment just quickly, uh, last year um, there was a, a <coughs> compromise, I believe, that was met on this issue um, after the uh, Marina Committee had, uh, had voted and uh, the, the event was held uh, at Dillon Park. Alderman Hanna, you're next. Well, thank you, Mr. Mayor. <clears throat> I support having Gus Macker at Dillon Park. It's a great event. I've, I've sponsored teams. I go down there. Uh, it's a well-behaved group of young people. Uh, I've asked the Marina Committee to rather than be in opposition to work with this, use this as a marketing opportunity, team with Gus Macker, invite people to come to Sheboygan, to stay at the Marina with their boats, to participate in the tournament. I just think it's an opportunity uh, to make it an even more special event. And our lakefront is a huge draw to the Gus Macker people, and it puts us on the map. Thank you. Thank you, Alderman Hanna. Uh, we have Alderman Gisha, President Gisha. Thank you, Your Honor. Um, I was, haven't been part of the discussions this year regarding this, but uh, uh, as was stated by a, a speaker, I, I do have a boat down in the marina, or historically have had one down there. And no, I haven't had any problems. Uh, the gatekeeper is there. Haven't had any. Haven't had any issues with it. Uh, my my uh, uh, others possibly have. I can just speak from personal experience. Um, my concern isn't uh, as much for the issues with the marina. Is that I'm hoping that we can move on to the next document in this in our pile here and deal with the uh, uh, public works side of it. Uh, as I believe there has been some discussion on potential uh, compromises with this. Uh, I'm concerned about the 28 spots, and I appreciate the fact that, hey, it's only 28 spots. It's only for a few days a year.
With the U.S. Sailing Association stuff going on down there, life doesn't stand still. The activity down there has increased. If, if those particular spots in the boaters, when they say boaters, we're talking about the, the lot that has the uh, boat ramp where all the boats can only park because they're long trailers, and now the New Sailing Association, which will have hundreds of people here on that very same weekend, if the, uh, personally, I, if the if the courts, the six or eight that they have on that lot can be put someplace else, and I understand there's been discussions regarding that, uh, I have no issue uh, at this time with, uh, with having Gus Macker. I, uh, I haven't sponsored teams, but I have been down there many times watching him. I do enjoy it. It is a great family event. Uh, just as my, my friend uh, and colleague, uh, Alderman Bauckett, I don't think the attitude of the boaters is that it's a Pine Hills situation down there, uh, to use that as a quote. Uh, the, doter, the boaters do spend thousands and thousands and thousands of dollars to rent a slip. There's a contract that allows them certain amenities, and uh, we have to respect that part of it, too. If you buy and pay for something, you should expect that. I have bought and paid for, thing, for my slip down there and uh, have, have had no issues, so I... I have not heard any personally negative from the boaters, but I do think we're going to cause a problem of congestion and fighting over spots if we don't move just those six or eight courts. And I think that's, that's a minor compromise. And I would hope that we could maybe dispense with this document, move on to the Public Works document, which is next, and have an amendment uh, for another spot for those courts, um, such as the tennis courts or something like that, just to free up that lot. I think that's a wonderful compromise of everybody working together on this and we can move on from this issue hopefully for years to come. Thank you, President Gisha. Uh, once again, Alderman Sirk. Yeah, I just would like to clarify a point for Alderman Bach. You mentioned that the marina parking lot is, is a public parking lot. Well, I had a boat down there at one time and in order for me to come to my boat, I had to go through a gated area, give the guard my, my boat slip. If we had guests coming in, they had announced that they were at, to visit us in our boat. So it really is not a public access parking lot as the Alderman box seems to imply. So, and again, the boaters are not against the tournament, they love it. The point is they would like to have their space too uh, during, that, during that weekend. And it's a very busy weekend for boaters. Thank you. Thank you, Alderman, sir. Alderman Bowers. Thank you. I'd also like to add, it's not the problem with the basketball teams, it's with the management of Tom Lipham. For two years in a row, he has had instructions. Two years in a row, he's not lived up to them. Now, I attended uh, meetings where he was in attendance, and he said point blank that we did not inform him, or the committee did not inform him, of uh, these new rules. Now, if we did not inform him, everybody else knew about it, I knew about it, and I wasn't even on the committee. So what's to stop him this year from doing the same thing that he's done the last two years? Thank you, Alderman Bowers. Uh, once again, Alderman Bulk. Thank you, Mr. Mayor. I'd, I'd just say that I, I drive down. Uh, I'm guilty of actually visiting Alderman uh, Gisha at his boat from time to time in the summer. And uh, we may have had guards in the past, maybe when our budgets was bigger. Nobody's checking my license anymore when I drive up to his boat. Uh, nobody's checking me when I walk through the gate either. So, um, so that would be dispensing with that comment. So I would just close by saying, um, again, a, a, a no vote on this particular document allows us to get to the next document when we can talk about the compromise. Thank you, Mr. Mayor. Thank you, Alderman Bauck. <clears throat> we have no more lights here. Um, <coughs> may we have a roll call, please? Are you all clear on how you're voting? Yeah, no. What? No, you're not. An I vote would deny the request. An I vote would deny the request for the Gus Macker to Does that everybody get it? An I vote would deny the request. To be at yes. Park. To be at Dillon Park. Sue. So, yes. Uh, that that is based on document number sixteen thirty three. Yes. And that would just be. Uh, we could then repick it back up under sixteen thirty four. Even if this is denied. You can't pick this up. This is a den they want to deny this. 16, 1634 would be to approve it at that location. Gotcha. So an I vote would be to deny. No. An, an I vote on 1633 will deny the tournament from being at right. so Dillon Park. A, so a no vote would, would keep it alive for theoretically.
a no vote would keep it alive till 1634. Alderman Buck, please thank stand you. up. Uh, thank you, Mr. Mayor. Um, but an I vote on 1633 would render 1634 moot, right? right? Correct. Okay, so a no vote on this will allow us to get to 1634. Correct. Thank you. Does everybody get it? Yes. <laughs> Roll call, please. Okay. <laughs> Bowers. Aye. Decker. No. Gisha. No. Hannah. No. Heidemann. No. Koth. No. Kittleson. No. Kleunas. No. Montemayor? No. Rinfleisch? No. Surik? Aye. Vanderweel? No. Vu? Aye. I'm sorry. Aye. Thank you. Wangaman? No. Boren? No. And Bauk? No. Three eyes, 13 noes. Motion fails. 16-34 by the Public Works Committee, recommending filing documents, <laughs> submitting a communication from the Boys and Girls Club requesting permission to host the Gus Macker three-on-three basketball tournament at Deland Park and approving the request. Alderperson Kittleson. Thank you, Mr. Mayor, thank you. Um, we've had a lot of discussion on this whole topic and we've had a lot of people speak here this evening and speak very passionately about it. That being said, I need to make the motion. This is what I would like to do. I would like to file the report of committee that we came up with in Public Works and ask that we grant the request as originally submitted under RO 290-09-10, Council Document 15-57. Second. We have a motion and a second to file this document? To file our report of our committee. Refile the RC. To file the RC and ask that we grant the request as originally submitted on council document 1557. And can you expound upon that document, I can. please? I can. The specific areas that are being requested are the use of the Deland Park green space, all of the Deland Park parking lot, the southwestern half of the marina parking, the north end of Fisherman's parking lot, approximately 28 to 30 stops. And as they have done in the past, uh, they will lay out the tournament grounds to minimize the total number of parking stalls being used, and as in the past, past uh, the access to the boat launch and the fish cleaning station will always remain open. We have a motion and a second under discussion. President Gisha. Thank you, Your Honor. If I could just have some clarification from Alderperson Kittleson. What she read isn't what's on the paper. Correct. And if that would be the case, you'd be putting that in the form of a motion to change and to change the various parts you're talking about here. Uh, otherwise, we're not voting on we are what vo has gone through committee. Correct. We are voting on the original request that came in. I asked to file this right. document. What is under discussion what? would be to file this right. document and return to the to original request. We don't request. have the original request. It wasn't a document submitted to this council. Yes, Correct. there was. No, well, it, it's not the document that's in front of us. Correct. That's and, the report and that's, of And that's what we have. Uh, I don't have a problem have. with what you're doing. I'm just okay. saying we have to, we don't, and Steve, maybe, maybe we're talking about semantics here, but I just want to make sure we're doing this right. We don't have a document in front of us uh, <clears throat> to do that with. But we can, but we can do it. I believe uh, RO 290-0910 Correct. Uh, was referred to both the committees and uh, soon came back with these recommendations. So that RO is there. Right. Yes. That's, that's the original request. What is in front of us is not the original request. What is in no. front of you is the committee report of public works. That right. I'm asking uh, to file. Kittleson is chair of, but what she's saying he is uh, she is requesting that the council not uh, accept the committee's report and basically go back to the original request. That's right. Do Correct. we then, if I may, do we then, like, I don't know what that original request I, I was. That Does that have to come in under a different document then? No. No, there is a, there, it came in under a document, came in under RO 290-0910. Do you understand my confusion? We, yeah, I, yes. We, so, so we can, 
is that an amendment then to what we've no. done here? No. She's moving to file the committee report. Yes. And go the original request, Alderman Gisha. The original request came into us, document 1557, was referred to both committees. I just read to you what the original request was, those specific areas. I am going back you to know, that I, original request. I agree that it's problematic for right. many of the council people that weren't either on the Marina Committee or on the Public Works Committee right. because the original request was referred to those committees. That's my point. They, their discussion there came back with these recommendations, and now you're basically suggesting you're scrapping those and, recommendations. And, and if, I, if I may add on this, I know there was some confusion in the past upon what was approved Correct. by the council and what actually happened. So I think if uh, anything that happens here tonight uh, should be clean, and, and well understood, right. not that we have confusion that when we get to tournament time again, right. uh, that there's claims out there that things were done that were not approved. Right. Uh, Alderman Gisha, if you'd like to continue. Yeah, and thank you, Your Honor, and, and that is precisely my point. Last year there was this uh, so-called deal between, I think, the mayor and a, and a specific older person that, that I think caught the Gus Macker people by surprise and the Marina people by surprise, everybody by surprise. My point here is just to make sure that nobody's surprised anymore, and that, that would hurt the Macker, and it would hurt the Marina yes. Committee. So I'm not trying to put a, a wrench in this. I'm, I'm just trying to make sure that we don't have a repeat of the great fiasco of 2008. Uh, yeah. I, I think rather than, rather than go back to a former document that nobody has in front of them, it, it may be more beneficial to, to, to amend the document in front of us if that's our intent. And if Alderman Balk, if you could speak, please. Thank you, uh, Mr. Mayor. I think I have a solution that may uh, satisfy both my friends and colleagues on this. I think <laughs> we take the document 1634 and place a period after the words approving the request and then delete everything after approving the request. I think that cleans things up and accomplishes what Alderperson Kittleson is trying to accomplish. Yeah. Steve? That, that's amending a document we all do have. Yeah, yeah, the problem is this is a committee report. This is the report of the committee. And you, the council can't amend the committee's report. Um, you know, I don't think anybody this, but one possible scenario is to refer it back to Public Works uh, and come back with a clean document. <laughs> Um, and those, you know, the, you open up all the discussions perhaps again, but maybe that's what you need to do if <coughs> even the committee's report that's coming in has, you know, is not being supported by the committee at this point. That's one concern. Okay. The reason being is that we, we've gotten so many calls and emails. I know as chair of Public Works, I've taken this under consideration. Again, I think my fellow committee members might have as well. And that is why I'm trying to keep it as clean as we can, going back to the original document, 1557, which states everything right there in black and white as to what the request is, what the Gus Macker people would like to have okay. for, as their layout for next Thank year. Thank you, Alderperson Kittleson. Thank you. Um, so we are, we are discussing uh, going uh, back to the original document here, and Alderman Rinfleisch. Uh, thank you for, uh, for the opportunity to speak. Um, some clarification. If uh, the report of the committee was to pass the original document in this case um, or to make a mo if they had made a motion back in committee to amend it in any way, uh, we would still would have that document attached if the copies with us or not. We're still discussing that issue, um, but we're filing the, usually the original request and then passing the report of committee. In this case, uh, hang on, I got it. Hang on. <laughs> um, <laughs> So that's the normal process, and that's what we're confused about, is we do actually do that all on a regular basis, that we refer back to the original document all the time, even though we don't necessarily have it in front of us the second time. Uh, so to clarify is that the motion, as stated, is actually quite proper. It was something that we do frequently, except we're generally <coughs> filing it and then using the report of committee. In this case, we're trying to do it a little different. The committee is no longer supporting its own report, so we could actually file this and go back to the original and approve the original document as originally stated. Um, like I said, it's, it's a little awkward because we don't usually see the document in front of us, but we do actually do it on a regular basis with most of the votes that we do, especially when we're operating within a report of committee. Um, however, we can't amend a report of committee because that committee itself voted to make this statement to us, 
And that's all we're saying is, okay, we accept your statement, we don't accept your statement. Um, now, I know the, the time frame we're looking at next summer, uh, we have a lot of speakers that spoke about it today. Uh, we had a lot of phone calls today. I would bring it back to the uh, Public Works Committee. Um, if there are amendments that need to be made, I understand from uh, President Geisha that there, there might be some in discussion there, uh, hopefully, um, that the committee can make those recommendations back to us with that committee. Uh, and it might be a little bit cleaner, maybe <coughs> clear for the public can understand exactly what's being done um, by the report of the committee. So that's my recommendation. Thank you. Re regardless, we need to come out of uh, this evening with a, a clean document or refer it back to committee and bring in a clean document so we have an understanding. Um, so what we, are, what we are speaking of right now, uh, we have a motion to file this document. Do you, would you like to keep that motion on the floor? Uh, yeah, yes, I believe. And, well, or, or would you like to withdraw that motion to file and uh, somebody could make a motion to refer this back to committee where it can be cleaned up? I, I will withdraw the motion to file and send it back to committee to clear up so that everyone here in council will have the clean document. Who seconded that motion? Second. You were on the second. Do you withdraw? Do you withdraw that motion? And if I can ask one question before I withdraw. certainly. Thank you, Mr. Mayor. Um, so what I thought I heard Alderman Person Reinflech say, which I always appreciate it when he speaks because he always teaches me three or four things about procedure. He's great at that. That's why um, I called on him. <laughs> is um, what I thought I heard him say is everything Alderman Person Kittleson proposed while maybe not clean and not comfortable, not what we're used to doing it, is absolutely proper to file the document and then approve 290.09-10. So uh, Alderperson Kittleson, not to dissuade her from doing what she was going to do, but there's no need for you to do what you were going to do. <laughs> Let me go back. Let's 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 do it that way. Rather than refer it back to committee, let's let's go forward with this. I'm I'm going to go ahead with my my original filing the report of our committee and ask that we approve document 1557 as originally brought in to council. Okay. So the first we would have to have two motions here. The first one being to file. No, no, well, no. no. Already I already have. Has. She's already had the motion out. Okay. File the RC. You certainly can, sir. I'm just trying to. There's well, a there lights all over the place. It's like Christmas here. Okay. So, we are back to filing and going back to the original report. And Alderman Bowers, please. Thank you, Mr. Mayor. <clears throat> <coughs> I was at the Public Works uh, Committee Sir, if you meeting. could have your microphone on Yeah, here, I was at the Public Works Committee meeting, and it seemed to me that Alderman Hanna <coughs> reached a congenial agreement with uh, Mr. Lipham. All of the members of the Public Works Committee was there at that time, and it seems to me that they came to an amicable uh, agreement. Now, all of a sudden, we're going to go back to something that no one has really looked at, and we're going to vote on that. What's wrong with the 1634 that was voted, and Mr. Han or Alderman Hanna and Mr. Lipham reached an agreement, and that was to the benefit that uh, Chairperson Kittleson uh, said was okay. So now, why are we going backwards? Thank you, Alderman Bowers. Next, we have Alderman Hanna. Well, thank you, Mr. Mayor. It, it, the, the original letter from, from Tom Lybum is relatively short. Can I read that? So that everybody... You certainly may, sir. Okay. Dear Sheboygan Alderpersons, this past August 15th, the annual Gus Macker 3-on-3 basketball tournament was again a huge success thanks to the amazing volunteers, beautiful weather, and perfect location. This year's tournament hosted 383 teams with thousands of spectators, for <clears throat> a weekend of good basketball, great food, lots of fun, which benefited the Boys and Girls Clubs of Sheboygan County, as well as the entire community. To keep one of Sheboygan's largest non-alcoholic family events going for a 16th year, I'm requesting that the Boys and Girls Club be granted permission to host the 2010 Gus Macker 3-on-3 three -three Basketball Tournament at DeLand Park, August 5th through 8th. Specific areas being requested are the use of Deland Park green space, all of the Deland Park parking lot, the southwestern half of the marina parking lot, and the north end of Fisherman's parking lot, approximately 28, 
up to 30 stalls. As we've done in the past 14 years, we will lay out the tournament grounds to minimize the total number of parking stalls being used as in the past. Access to the launch and fish cleaning station will always remain open. We look forward with your permission to continue to host this family event on the taxpayer funded festival grounds at the lakefront. It is the location of our event that contributes to the success of our premier fundraiser. Also uh, not contained in this, um, the tennis courts will be available to them. There will be additional areas for them to go. Tom and his people in good faith are going to try to minimize the impact on the fishermen area. Um, I'm quite comfortable passing Tom's original request. I've had numerous conversations with his organization. They're really trying to work with us. Thank you, Alderman Hanna. Next we have Alderperson Clyunas. Thank you, Your Honor. I guess maybe my only little thing would be almost to amend this, that this, all this is passed back to the Gus Macker Group, and there isn't any kind of, if there's a discussion, uh, everything is clear, it's published as public record as to what they use in the letter or whatever it is, because if there was some disagreement last year because it was more of a private agreement, this should be very public and very clearly stated, and their limitations and their privileges are clearly stated. I, that's all I would say on this. If, if we need that, if it's presumed, then I would ask the Public Works to work up a document that is somehow signed by Gus Macker of, uh, officials or something like that. Thank you, Alderperson Clayonis. Alderman Board. Thank you, Mayor Ryan. Uh, I would have made, had I been able to do it, I, I would have made the same motion that Alderman Balk made about uh, striking everything on 1635 after approving the request. Uh, I would have I would have voted for 1634 if push came to shove, even with the, uh, with the uh, caveats, but I was very uncomfortable with closing Broughton Drive. Uh, but I am, uh, after uh, conferring with Alderman Decker, who was down there fishing uh, at this year's event with no problems, also during 2008, I received an email from about five fishermen that were somewhat unhappy, but this year's tournament, I got no communication from those at all. So I'm in support of having the tournament at D-Land Park uh, with the original document. Now, it's my understanding that with the original document, uh, Alderperson Kittleson, that the ground rules are gonna be exactly the same as they were last year. Okay, I, I support that. that the, that the event be held down there with the same ground rules as last year. Uh, and, and as I said, if push would, push would have come to shove on 1634, I would have voted for the caveats, but uh, I'm uncomfortable with closing Broughton Drive because next year if we have a public hearing on this, then all the residents from Broughton Drive are gonna be lined up here saying that they were uncomfortable with closing Broughton Drive. So I'll, uh, I'll support uh, the original document, thank you. Thank you, Alderman Boren. Next we have Alderperson Montemayor. Oh, thank you, Mr. Mayor. I think Alderman Rinfleisch, uh, I'm just agreeing with what he said. Oftentimes we do take action on uh, resolutions that were published the previous meeting and referred to committees and we don't actually have the words in front of us again. Often we do that. Thank you. Looks like our board is clear with the exception of Alderperson Kittleson. Thank you, Mr. Mayor. And I just, to, to, to speak to Alderman Clyunas, we do have the document, 1557. It, it, you can go, if you look back in your documents, you will see it. We are passing it exactly as it is written, and the ground will, <coughs> rules will be exactly the same as they were last year for this event. So that's all I, thank you thank very you. much. And now we will go to our resident expert on what was just said here, our city clerk. <laughs> Thanks, Mayor. Um, I just want to clarify for all the aldermen why you are questioning you only have this top document. You all got it at the last meeting, this, this document that's behind it. You, 
We don't copy it again for all of you a second time because I'm really cheap and I'm protecting the taxpayers. I don't want to give you a second copy of what you already have. So you will run into this on occasion if there's a controversial issue or whatever. You're looking at a top document. You've already had this one before. That's what we're talking about. That's where the confusion is coming in. We don't copy it twice. We think it's a waste of effort and money of the taxpayers. So if there's a problem with that, you're going to have to talk to me about it. But that's how we handle the process of doing the council documents. OK? Just so you know. Thank you, Ms. Frugality. Thank you. <laughs> OK. Uh, our lights are all off. The motion is. Oh, thanks a lot. OK. Um, Alderman Kittleson will help me, but I believe the motion is to file the RC from Public Works and to grant the request that was done on 15-57, which was RO 290-0910 that was brought in and referred on November 2nd. <coughs> so an I vote would be to do exactly that. Does everybody? Okay. Okay, roll call please. Decker? Aye. Gisha? Aye. Hannah? Aye. Heideman? Aye. Koth? Aye. Kittleson? Aye. Clayunas? Montemayor? Rinfleisch? Aye. Zurich? No. Vanderweel? Aye. Vu? Nay. Wangaman? Aye. Boren? Aye. Bauk? Aye. And Bowers? No. 13 ayes, 3 noes. Motion carries. Sixteen thirty-five to sixteen forty-six lies over till November thirtieth. Reports of committees seven, sixteen dash forty-seven by Public Works recommending entering into an agreement for residential refuse and recyclable material transfer, tipping and disposal services with Veolia Environmental Services. Alderperson Kittleson. Thank you, Mr. Mayor. I move that the report of committee be accepted and adopted. Second. We have a motion and a second. Under discussion? Under discussion, the committee uh, reviewed the director's report and recommends approval of entering into a contract with Veolia, including the fuel index alternative. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Any further discussion? Alderperson Clayonis? Thank you, Your Honor. Uh, is there any other company that bids on this? Okay. There were two, two bids. Okay, so that this is the best bid. Okay, yeah, all right. Thank you. I just don't see any other documentation. Okay. The other, the other bid was from Waste Management. Uh, Veolia had the, the oh, yeah. lower bid on it, and also at the same time, it saves us some distance from sorry. traveling to Thank Sheboygan you. Falls. Thank we you. can go out to Payne Avenue and park. Yeah, some, sorry about that. Save some travel time and some some labor, some fuel time. President Gisha. Uh, thank you, Your Honor. Not wanting to miss an opportunity to uh, further explain our budget woes, this is one of the examples. You'll see in these bids the federal and state tax on tipping fees. State of Wisconsin increased our tipping fees, I think roughly, oh, 100 um, percent, uh, amounting to hundreds of thousands of dollars in, ex in an additional cost to the taxpayers of the city of Sheboygan, that money going directly to Madison. and. I just wanted to point out that those fees are included in this. So as you hear people talking about budget issues and, and different uh, factions regarding what should or should not be cut, uh, here is one example why we are in the cut mode right here in front of us. Thank you, Madison. Dolly? No. <laughs> Alderperson Montemayor. Thank you, Mr. Mayor. <coughs> Recyclable material will be accepted as a single stream, paper products and blue bag material mixed. So what does that actually mean to us uh, house owners? We put our paper and our cans in the same bag? Uh, no, or we that put actually them out means on the same that day? Uh, in the future we will not have to put out paper. You don't have to look at your neighbors anymore. You can put out cardboard and blue bag recyclables at the same time every week. Great, that means we won't have to store garbage longer. Right, so you don't have to wait for your neighbor to put his out to figure out what you're supposed to put out that Thank way. Thank you. <laughs> so that's what it means. Thank you, Alderperson Montemayor. Next we have Alderperson Clayunas. Thank you, just a little commercial. Um, <laughs> if, if we complain about the cost of dumping, we can cut down on garbage. And I think that is an issue that we ought to look at, and um, 
you know, are we wasteful in terms of what we're throwing out um, and in terms of how we could maybe use some of this stuff on our land or somehow reuse it for someone else or something. Um, garbage fees can be controlled if we are more careful with our own waste. So it's a lesson to us. If and you that wanna. is why Jean is our residential, is our, is our in-house green alder person. Green Jean, yes. Green, green Jean. Jean. <laughs> Thank you, Green Jean. <laughs> Uh, um, yes, Alderman Kittleson, um, can you perhaps add on to your motion, I think it would be wise to have a resolution drafted out of committee Absolutely. because we're entering into agreement and I don't see one in the... Oh, we need to direct that the proper documents to be drafted. Thank you. Also with this... Okay. So we have, we're adding on to that and that the proper documents be drafted. Yes. Okay, any further discussion? There's no lights lit, lit up here. Roll call, please. Gisha? Aye. Hannah? Aye. Heideman? Aye. Koth? Aye. Kittleson? Aye. Clayunas? Aye. Montemayor? Aye. Rinfleisch? Aye. Surik? Aye. Vanderweel? Aye. Vu? Aye. Wangaman? Aye. Boren? Aye. Bauk? Aye. Bowers? Aye. And Decker? Aye. 16 ayes. Motion carries. 16-48 lies over until the 30th. 16-49 to be referred. Ordinances introduced 10. 1650 lies over. 1651 to be referred. Matters laid over 11. 15-53, General Ordinance Number 25-09-10 by Alderperson Kittleson, repealing General Ordinance Number 82-03-04 which granted Timothy Frederick and Rose Einhardt the privilege of encroaching on portions of Michigan Avenue for the purpose of maintaining stairs. Alderperson Kittleson. Thanks, Mayor. I move that the ordinance be put upon its passage. We have a motion and a second under discussion. Under discussion, the current owners of that property located at 1319 Michigan Avenue have advised the city that they no longer need to encroach upon the city right away uh, to maintain those stairs and they've requested that the city terminate the encroachment privilege uh, granted by way of general ordinance 820304. Thank you. Thank you, Alderperson Kittleson. Mm -hmm. Any further discussion? None. Roll call, please. Hannah? Aye. Heideman? Aye. Koth? Aye. Kittleson? Aye. Clayunas? Aye. Montemayor? Aye. Rinfleisch? Aye. Zurich? Aye. Vanderweel? Aye. Vu? Aye. Wangaman? Aye. Boren, Aye. Bauk, Aye. Bowers, Aye. Decker, Aye. and Gisha. Aye. 16 ayes. Motion carries. 15-58, General Ordinance Number 2-09-10 by Alderpersons Boren, Sir, Kath, and Vu, repealing and recreating the municipal code so as to create an economic development grant for certain successful applicants for a reserve Class B alcoholic beverage license. Alderman Boren. Thank you, Mayor Ryan. Uh, I move that the general ordinance be put upon its passage. Second. We have a motion and a second under discussion. Under discussion, uh, Your Honor, uh, there's a limited number of Class B alcohol beverage licenses. And uh, to give you an example, uh, recently we had uh, two licenses become available. And at the same time, that was the the time when the uh, new Italian restaurant uh, was, uh, the, the owners came before us for a liquor license, and luckily we had one. But in many communities, because the Class B liquor licenses are limited, uh, there's a potential that we would miss out on a development of a, of a fine restaurant uh, if we do not uh, pass this uh, this ordinance and this ordinance allows a reserve license the fee for that is ten thousand dollars and that license is not transferable between between owners if a place is sold that's my understanding is that right city clerk yes. madam city clerk and uh, <clears throat> so if it happens that we do not have any liquor licenses available and we have a chance to let's say for example get an olive garden or some other a uh, restaurant that wants that wants and needs an alcohol license, they can pay ten thousand dollars for this for this reserve license, and this ordinance uh, means that after they're in business for nine months, they can apply to the city to to, to get a refund of this uh, fee for the reserve license 
of all of it, $9,500, and then the city would maintain the $500. So I think this, this ordinance is important uh, because of the fact that we may have some opportunities for some, for some fine restaurants that want to come to Sheboygan that need an alcohol license, and uh, this would facilitate it if they're willing to pay the $10,000 up front, and then after they're in business for nine months, apply for a, a refund of, the, of all of it except for uh, uh, $500. Uh, if I could just give any, a quick example, there was a fine restaurant down in Sockville, Wisconsin, that <clears throat> the owner went ahead and built the establishment, and it was a high-end Italian restaurant in Sockville. No alcohol license of, licenses were available in, uh, in Sockville, and I believe there wasn't even the reserve license available. Uh, it took the state legislature to pass a, a special exclusion for this restaurant owner down in Sockville so that uh, he, could get a, he could get an alcohol license. Uh, it, it was passed by the, the state senate, the state assembly, and then signed by the governor. Uh, I don't want to have that happen in Sheboygan if somebody wants to come in and, and, and build a, an upscale restaurant. I want them to have the ability to at least get the reserve license and then later, because of this economic development grant, uh, get a refund all except for $500. Thank you. Thank you, Alderman Boren. Any further discussion? None. Roll call, please. Heideman? Aye. Koth? Aye. Kittleson? Aye. Clayunas? Aye. Montemayor? I guess so. <laughs> <laughs> yes, with reservation. I don't that, think I have that, that on my roll call. That would be an I. <laughs> Rinfleisch? Aye. Surik? Aye. Vanderweel? Aye. Vu? Aye. Wangaman? Aye. Boren? Aye. Bauk? Aye. Bowers? Yes. Decker? Aye. Gisha? Aye. And Hannah? Aye. 16 eyes, kind Mot of. <laughs> motion carries. Kind of. Kind of. Okay, other matters authorized by law. 16-52, an RO by the city clerk granting various licenses. Who wants it? Alderman Boren? Thank you, Mayor Ryan. Uh, I move that the report of officer be accepted and placed on file. Second. We have a motion and a second under discussion. No discussion. All in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? The motion carries. 16-53, an RO by the Department of, by the Deputy. Deputy Finance Director slash Treasurer submitting the annual financial report of the City of Sheboygan for the year ended December 31st, 2008, prepared by Schenck, SC. President Kisha. Thank you, Your Honor. Um, I move we accept and file the, the report of officer. Thank you. Um, this is our annual audit, and I'm uh, uh, proud and happy to say we had a report from Schenck. Actually had the two accountants who worked on this project at the Finance Committee meeting last Monday. Um, the uh, finance department was, was given high regard and high marks uh, with no changes in how we are handling the accounting for all, uh, all phases of the operation. Thank you, President Gisha. That does say something for our finance department. Any further discussion? All in favor say aye. Aye. Opposed? Motion carries. 16-54 lies over. 1655 referred to finance. 1656 referred to public protection and safety. 1657 referred to public protection and safety. 1658 refer referred to public protection and safety. Other matters coming in, 1659, Attorney McLean. <clears throat> That's an RO by the city clerk submitting a communication from Joseph Jantz of Tidy Car of Sheboygan requesting an encroachment in the city's right of way on the south side of his property to replace an existing sign. That will be referred to city planning. 1660 is an RO by the city clerk submitting a communication from John Burke of Westbrook Management LLC regarding parking issues at the St. Nicholas Apartments. That will be referred to PPNS. 1661 is a communication from Ken Wonder Jim regarding his concerns regarding closing the dump and charging for garbage pickup. That will be referred to Public Works. 1662 is submitting a communication from Dan Binversey, Clearwater Inspector, regarding a sump pump issue at 1517 Camlock Boulevard. That will be referred to Public Works. 
1663 is a communication from Steve Buboltz of Stevie B's Landscaping LLC regarding his offer of the free tree removal program in exchange that he receive all the wood associated with removal. That will be referred to Public Works. 1664 is a communication from John Vertasic regarding problems with the leaf pickup program in District 7. That will be referred to Public Works. 1665 is an RO by the City Clerk submitting various license applications for the period ending June 30, 2010 and June 30, 2010. That will be referred to Law and Licensing. 1666 is an ordinance granting Joseph Jantz, his heirs and assigns, the privilege of encroaching upon described portions of right away for Wisconsin Avenue located at 810 North 14th Street in the city for the purpose of replacing a sign. That will be referred to city planning. 1667 is a resolution establishing the city's residential solid waste system user fee. That will be referred to finance and public works. 1668 is a resolution establishing the equivalent resident unit, residential unit rate for the city's stormwater management system user fee. That will be referred to finance and public works. 1669 is an ordinance establishing Article 4 of Chapter 102 of the Municipal Code relating to residential solid waste system user fees. And that will be referred to Finance and Public Works. Motion to adjourn. I have a motion to adjourn and a second. All in favor say aye. aye. Opposed? We are adjourned. Wow.